Hello and welcome. Today we're talking about limits of multivariate functions. We're going to do one example where we're proving when a limit does not exist. So this is a, a good uh, exam style problem I'll give. And it'll always go something like this. Consider uh, uh, a function f of x comma y is equal to z is equal to, and I'll give this example, uh, 4x squared times y all over x squared plus y quantity squared. All right, and the problem is going to have two parts. One, it'll consist of this part, a limit of x comma y going to 0, 0 on a path uh, y equals 0 of f of x comma y. So we want to compute that. And then b, another one, we're going to pick on a different path, take limit of f of x comma y. We're going to go on a path towards the origin on the path y is equal to x squared. Okay. All right, so let's do both of these. Um, this one will involve taking x and setting y equal to 0 and taking it towards 0, 0. And it'll be 4 times x squared times 0 all over x squared plus 0 quantity squared. Of course, That's simply 0 over um, x to the 4th. So the limit there, of course, is going to be 0. OK, good. Now let's try the other case. Let's try the other path. So here, if we had a graph, we just tar did this path. So part A, we went down like this, or we went up like that along the y equals 0 line. OK. So now we're going to take a new path. We're going to come in on this parabolic path. Um, like so. And now we're going to see if we get a different result. So that means we're going to go limit as x comma x squared goes to 0 comma 0 of uh, 4 times x squared times x squared, because that's what's equal to y now, all over x squared plus x squared quantity squared. Okay, so now we just have to do a little bit of simplification. We have 4x to the fourth power over 2x squared quantity squared. We can write this again as, I know it's sometimes a little bit tedious to keep writing the limit symbol, but always remember to do that. Like this, and that of course the limit is going to be 1. All right, so what are we going to do here? So. The question then is, the follow-up question, the part B, or the part C, if you will, is does the limit exist? Um, and the answer, of course, is no. No, it doesn't. Because all paths must yield the same limit for uh, the limit to exist. So that's the answer to this question. This is a, a good exam question. Um, it should be noted that uh, we can't, on the exam, uh, prove 
a limit exists that takes too long to do. Uh, so what we're going to do is just uh, we're going to uh, ask you to compute a few paths uh, only. All right, so that's the main objective here is just to show that you know how to compute limits on multiple paths, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, it's a short and sweet video. Uh, we just wanted to go over some really basic examples uh, of a common exam style question where you're asked to uh, compute on two different paths and verify or, or surmise something about the limit by looking at whether or not these are different or the same. All right, thank you very much.